Uh, you're gonna have to readjust these things every once in a while, but it's worth the accountability. Got a strap that goes right along here, sending a signal to my arm. Okay, Whew. we are moving right into stiff-legged deadlifts. Then we're gonna run right over there where the camera guy is and we're gonna do some good mornings. This is a hamstring lower back blast. Okay, what are straight legs? That or that? That little bit of bend right here, that just tiny little bit, tell me you can see that. It's there, it's not there. Straight and there. Just the tiniest little bit of unlocked. Depends on where you're at with your back. Now, I will not be able to take this all the way to the ground. Why? Because I want my back to do it. So if I'm keeping my back here and my legs straight, this weight is obviously gonna be way heavier and take me down further, but not a lot further than this, and then I'll be coming back up. I'm basically gonna lower down till I feel my hamstrings about to rip out. I don't know how else to word it. You're gonna feel it right above your knee insert, right where your hammy ends down here into your knee. It's just gonna feel like it's gonna rip out. I'm wording that that way because I don't want you to be scared. That's what it feels like. It doesn't. I haven't had one rip out yet. I don't know anybody that has, but there's no other way to word it. It's gonna feel like it's gonna rip out. Just do your damn rep. Once again, being safe. Now, I'm gonna go a little more of a sumo, well, I'm gonna do wider grip, here we go. Now, another trick, as you're doing this, as I'm preparing, I forget. You wanna make sure that your hands are not riding on your legs. So either go wider and put your hands inside, or go closer and keep your hands on the outside. The rubbing part is the uncomfortable part. That's the part that uh, makes it feel all funny. Here you go. Thank you. So, man up, Kimberly. That was a long enough rest. Now get your set. I'm a little bit wider. I'm gonna straighten up. Make sure I drive forward. One. First, your grip to the bar. Legs are straight. Arms are flexed. Second, you lock out those legs, boy. You know exactly what you're in for. Keeping the weight as close as I can, or touching my legs, dropping. Five. I've chosen to keep my legs locked. Locked means, lock means locked. I have to repeat that 10 damn times. It's because I'm talking to the camera, I don't even know what my number is. But I know that I could probably do two or three more, so I'm going to. One. And I always like practice that pause at the bottom because photographers love it. Two. And practice not making an ugly face. Ah, come on! I'm gonna hop in right where you are. Moving right into. Good mornings. There is no rest. Hamstrings are now plenty warm enough for this. This is the exact same experience, my friends. A couple ways to do it. I'll do it with my legs all the way to the sides. One of the reasons why I like to do it that way because it squares it up. One. Two. See that arch in my back? I'm trying to keep that all the way down. Bring it in. You don't have to wait until your set's over to switch legs position. Oh. Now I can bend my legs. 15, that's bent leg. Be honest with you, that just got a lot easier. Five more. Great. 
Arch your back, come on. Don't give up your form. Okay. That you can easily cheat on. Easily cheat on that. What's cheating? Cheating is I didn't go all the way down to where my hamstrings had to engage. Straight legged, once again, is a lower back and hamstring exercise. Your lower back can do all the work. You don't even have to engage your hammies, really, except for stabilizing muscle. But if you really want to work and you want to get an amazing stretch, build volume down there, go all the way down. Keep those legs straight when you're doing the stiff legged. If you're going to do the variation, do it. It's awesome too. You're going to have to do a little bit more weight though. Next set. <sighs> 